What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're at a very unique location located just outside Santa Fe. This is a location that I've been to before and I've made a video, one of my, actually it's probably my second video I made here. This is on BLM land, which is federal land. You can uh, wander around pretty much aimlessly out here. There's trails, but uh, I uh, was just hiking out here one day and stumbled across uh, a bunch of agate. So we're gonna head out here and uh, go see what we can find. For this little adventure, the only thing I'm using is uh, my rock hammer, that's it. Everything else is just uh, my water and my snacks and stuff like that and batteries and cameras and stuff. That's all I'm bringing on this. I'm trying to pack light because it's about mm, three quarters of a mile to the first agate deposit. Uh, I think somebody else has been digging here. That's a pretty good sized hole. But I don't think people come out here very often because I don't think it's well known. There's no videos on this location and uh, you can't find much online. Uh, if you do know anything about this location and do find anything, put it down in the comments. I'd be interested to know. So what I'm doing is I'm walking. You can, the agate is like orange, red. So all you're doing is looking on the ground for like little chips. And then what I do is you, that stuff's washing down from uphill. So you can kind of just follow it up and see where it's actually coming from. There's not much around this area. It's pretty much when you get over to the side of that little uh, mountain or hilltop, whatever you want to call it. Right over there, there's a that's where it starts all around that hill. And there's a little bit over there on that other hill. We're going to take a look at that today. But uh, I'll let you guys know when we start to see stuff. Well, we're walking to that first location. I recently decided to start sharing a little bit more about myself and uh, so you guys can kind of get to know me. For starters, my name is John. I haven't even, I don't think I've ever even said that on here. My name's not Intercompass, obviously. <laughs> the name, the reason why I named it the channel that is because this entire time I've been following my Intercompass to get to this point and I continue to do that each and every day. So for starters, I served in the 82nd Airborne for just under five years. Did search and rescue during Hurricane Katrina. And then I also did 15 months in Iraq in a recon unit. After I got out of the military, I uh, joined the fire department. I was an EMT firefighter for 13 years. I resigned about four years ago, became a certified health coach, holistic nutritionist, Reiki master. And then I kind of discovered this passion for rock hounding. And I've been chasing that dream ever since. Um, a little bit about my current situation is I'm going through a divorce. I am living out of that camper. That's why I'm kind of all over the place here. Um, I'm heading back to the Northeast to where my kids are because I haven't seen them in three months. But uh, I'll be up there mining, hanging out with them. So a lot of my videos are going to kind of shift towards the Northeast over this next month or so. I'll be pushing off from Santa Fe at the end of, August, uh, end of July and making my way to the Northeast. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'll be hitting up Haunted Ridge in Missouri and a few other spots on the way home. And then I'll be digging up Herks for the rest of the summer. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos. It makes it even more important that you guys watch the videos all the way to the end because the only thing I'm missing now is my watch hours. So when you guys watch the video all the way to the end, you're really helping me out to get myself monetized. So. I can get myself a little bit of extra income, so build some sort of a foundation here. And if you're not following me on Facebook, make sure you follow me on there. I'm a little bit, uh, I relieve a little bit more of my uh, personal life on there. And I sell my crystals that I find on these videos. Oh, check out the view here. We're almost at the location here where you start to see the uh, agate. By no means am I sharing this to play the poor me card. I am super grateful for all my experiences and all these challenges I've had to overcome as I've learned a lot. And uh, I just continue to grow as these uh, hurdles from life continue to uh, throw themselves at me. But I appreciate each and every one of you as I haven't quite uh, 
thanked everybody for hitting the thousand subscriber mark because that was one of the thresholds I had to hit and I'm super grateful for each and every one of you and I hope that you continue to uh, follow me on my adventures. And if there's anything from that you'd like to see me add to the videos, you can put that down below in the comments and I'll try to uh, see if I can incorporate them in future videos. Oh, we're approaching the agate site here. Let's see if we can get anything uh, as we walk up on it. You can see that other people have been collecting. It's all the little different chunks there. Different stuff. This is kind of the area that I kind of dig in. Right here in this little uh, spot right here. I don't know if these are just spoil piles for something else they were digging for. Let's, I'll take you down inside here. It's not too treacherous. <laughs> I've been down here a few times. There's probably snakes down here, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, see? So I'm not really 100% 100 sure what I'm looking at. Definitely volcanic, obviously. That's all there is around here. It's just tons of ancient volcanoes. Not a whole lot of agate coming out of the wall currently, but I don't know that it's not coming out of here, and that's where it all came from. You can find some chunks that wash down here sometimes from up top. Sometimes you can even see them sticking out of the wall, like this little chunk right there. There's a few pieces usually laying around, but I don't see anything of significance, so I'm not taking much that I've seen so far because it's uh, not really that big. Just wanted to bring you in. I found a couple of good little chunks here just laying on the surface. Kind of show you what you can find here, stuff like this. Not gonna keep that. There's another piece here. You can see all the different colors, white, orange, red. This is kind of a unique little piece right here. And then there's a piece up here that I saw. That's a good little chunk of carnelian. Yeah, see that's the type of stuff you get here. You can see it all over the ground. Look at, there's some more right there. Some of the stuff like white and clear actually gets very translucent. That's, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for, to be honest. I mean, these are kind of kind of cool. Maybe I'll hold on to them and give them away at the uh, to somebody in the comments. One of you subscribers. I think once I get to the point where I can have a, a subscription on my channel, I think that's what I'll do is I'll give away crystals on that subscription side of the things. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Yeah, I like looking on the little the little hillsides here. See, look at a little bit of limestone coated on that. I think I'm gonna leave these here for somebody else. These aren't anything spectacular. They're probably cool to you guys, but I have so much of that I can still give away a bunch. I probably got like 100 pounds of this stuff at home. Or not home, but back in Massachusetts, <laughs> my previous home. Check this out. This little piece just rolled out of here when I was scraping right after I turned it off last time. This piece is going to be really nice when it's cleaned up too. You can't tell, but this is a solid piece of agate. Looks like it's going to be that nice color that I like too. It's got a few colors on it. Definitely see if we can get this cleaned up. I think I'm done looking through this area. I didn't find a whole lot. Nothing of substantial size that's worth me keeping. I'm sure if I dug, I could find some stuff. But uh, like, yeah, look at this. Look at this piece right here. This piece is kind of cool because it's got desert rose on it. That's what this is right here. Or barite, I think. What you call that? Kind of a cool piece. This one I might hold on to just because you don't find them with the desert rose very often. I do have a few pieces out of here with desert rose. Actually, it's one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Uh, maybe I'll show it to you up here in the little box. There's some more stuff right here. I can see. Where did I just see that right there? Yeah. Another piece right there. I like this kind of clear yellowish stuff. I'm going to throw that in my pocket. <laughs> 
I don't love carrying stuff in my pockets when I'm hiking like this. Oh, look at that, another one. Oh, this is a good size one. Oh, snap! Good eyes. Oh, we definitely gotta get this one cleaned up. This one will look good when it's all uh, cleaned. Let's check that out. For real this time, let's move on. Now we're, uh, I'm done finding sp pieces here now. Let's uh, go prospect. Kinda wanna go to the top of the mountain. I've never been up there, so I might just walk straight up there, see if I find anything on the way up and on the way down. As I'm hiking up this little mountain here, one thing I'm noticing, so I don't use trails, I'm just hiking straight up of it. Uh, the little, the cactuses on the ground, you gotta be careful you don't step on those. Those will go right through your boot. Let's see if I can, uh, I've been, I'm pretty close to stepping on them because some of them are really small, like right there. That one's not a small one, but some of them are really tiny, but the needles on them are still like two inches long, so they go right through your boot. Get in there. I haven't seen too much change in the ground here. Pretty crazy view though. piece right there, Jasper. One thing you want to keep in mind, hold on. One thing you want to keep in mind if you're coming from sea level, Santa Fe is like 7,000 feet above sea level. So if you think you're just gonna show up here and start rock hounding, running up and down these uh, mountains and hills, you are mistaken. I have been training for two months just to be able to do what I'm doing right now. Um, not that you have to take two months in order to uh, acclimate to it, but oh wow, look at this. Check out this cool piece. There's a big old piece of jasper right there. I might keep that one. Every time I start talking to you guys, a uh, big old chunk shows up. There's another one right there. I might keep a couple of these. Some of these have some pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Another one right here. Oh, I found a little honey hole here. I like this cool little thing right here. I don't know what that is. Almost at the top here. See the canyon down there across i came down from over there that's where the, i'm staying at car is way down there pretty cool man sorry i'm breathing a little heavy it's a little bit of a hike there all right let's go all the way up i'm not technically at the top yet i didn't see any uh cool rocks in the way up but we'll hike down on the other side and see if we find anything on the other side and then hike around. <sighs> this is by far the best view I've had since I've been out here. Look at that. That is spectacular. You can do like a 360 degree view here. I am so fortunate. I am so fortunate that I come across these locations and situations so often. I mean, this is like, this is spectacular. You can't even, words don't even, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys can see it on video, but I don't really feel like it does it any kind of justice without physically being here. If this is a free location, anybody can come here. We got there. 
some volcanic rock. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, you got to get off your couch and get outdoors if you're going to find these places. It's cool to watch my videos. I truly appreciate it, but I hope you take the videos and use it as inspiration to get out there and uh, get to some of these locations. Doing anything outdoors is a healing, is a healing experience altogether. And with the way things are nowadays, I feel like everybody needs a little bit of healing. So everybody should be outside as much as they can be in nature. So many different kinds of... This thing almost feels kind of like a friggin' meteor. It's so heavy. I did bring a magnet with me. Let's see if we can uh, see if the magnet sticks to it. No. Not iron. Feels heavy like iron, that's for sure. Still can't get over the views out here. I'm hiking down from that peak now over to the other peak. So I did find uh, more stuff over there last time than I did over here. Kind of see where I'm going here. I just went straight down. No trail again. <laughs> more likely to find stuff on the ground if you're not on the trail so it's kind of the way I look at it you just got to watch out for snakes all right we just got to the spot I was trying to get to right down in this wash right here if I can give you any advice when you come to southwest is always check the washes and you can kind of find uh what's coming up from above it when you find stuff down below there there's the peak I was at getting those beautiful views there's the canyon down here it's just some cool like just volcanic rocks here that have some cool like patterns on them and stuff. I think I just found a giant old chunk of jasper. I don't know. See how that looks like it's just not wet. I might take this back. I don't know. Pour a little water on it. This it has a, a little bit of jasper on it. It's not a whole giant solid piece of it. I thought it might have been. I was kind of excited. It's definitely coming out of here. You can see all the volcanic activity in this little area right here. Kind of an outcropping. We'll walk around and see if we can find anything in this area. You can really see the little chips. Oof, different things right here. There's definitely stuff washed down in here. I'm gonna have to like move around a little bit more because I'm uh, thinking there could be maybe stuff in these in these things here, this molten like this lava rock. I don't know if it's coming from above it. I don't see any pieces above it. Any sh chips or shards. I want to say that a lot of this stuff is coming out from probably in between the crevices of all this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a cool little piece. This is like obsidian, I think. I'm going to hold on to some of this stuff. And another one right here. Really cool layering on some of these pieces. So I found the vein, you can see it right here, running through. I could try and work some of it out, but it's just, I mean, it's Jasper. I'm not really super, like I don't need it, but now I know where it's located. So I'm gonna mark it on a map. So in case any of you guys wanna come out here and, and pick at this thing, I'll put it on a, a 10 digit grid there, some sort of coordinate so you guys can find the spot again. I will say that, it, is have a, it does have a nice deep red to it. I did not bring my hammer and pick. I mean, my hammer and my uh, chisel. I was not anticipating doing any hard rock mining. Otherwise, I could probably work that vein and get like a nice big chunk out of it. I have my rock hammer. But I don't know how much of this I'm going to get out with my rock hammer. This stuff's hard as a rock. <laughs> I 
I didn't even leave the spot yet where I was looking at the Jasper. Look at this little piece right here. This little betroidal piece right there. Almost looks like a fire agate. Look at it. That's pretty. We're gonna keep that. That's a little pocket piece. Put that in there. We're on that second peak here. Check out the views over here. Not as high as the other peak, but I'm gonna head back after we uh, finish walking around here for a little bit. Been gone for a while. I'm getting kind of hungry. We got about a mile walk back too, so I don't want to push too far, too much further. I'm starting to see specks of agate on the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh yeah, there's one right there. There's like a piece right there. It's kind of a decomposed piece, but I'm starting to see it. See them? Check out this spectacular piece right here that I just found. Look at this. There's sparkles on it. There's like jersey on it. This is such an amazing spot right here. I am just, there's just so much over here. Every time I walk in one direction, I find something. It doesn't matter which way I turn. You can just see it all. Like, look at this piece right here. Look at that. I just found some cool pieces right here. I haven't even touched them yet. Wanted to bring you guys in before I picked them up. This looks like a big old piece here with Jasper and some volcanic rock. I might keep that one. That one's kind of cool. And then this piece is what caught my eye. This one has botroidal formations inside of it. That's a cool piece. We're going to keep that one for sure. And then what we got here? Another piece. All kind of piled up together here. Man, the bugs are real bad right now. I apologize if, if you could even notice me swatting these things. There's a few pieces right in this little area right here. Anything else float down here? Downstream? Or anything up above it? That's the key there. You want to look up? Oh, look at this. This is a big old piece of jasper right here. <sighs> look at this giant piece. Nice. Oh, look at that. This area right here. Jackpot. You can see all the different types of jasper still sitting here. Some brown and some blackish stuff here. Lots of browns. Can't take all this stuff. There's just so much of it in this one little spot. Some cool patterns though. So I am gonna take the ones with cool patterns. Some of these are cooler than others for sure. So this is what I found. Like I got like 20, 30 pounds of the stuff. I'm gonna keep some of it with the cool colors on it. But other than that, I'm not gonna take all this. I know how to get back to the spot if I ever want more. I just found a big old piece right here. I haven't even pulled it out yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. The solid piece there. That's cool. Throw that in the backpack for sure. Oh, there's a couple pieces right here. Look at this one. Oh, that's a cool piece. This one's got Petroidal action going on it. This one's going to look good cleaned up. I'll definitely show you this one here. Check out the Petroidal action on this piece right here. It's beautiful. It's got white on the back and everything. I keep finding them like right in this area. Yeah, there's a piece right there. Oh, that's a cool piece. Another piece right there. Man, stuff's just everywhere. I'm running out of room. And every time you look behind you, there's a piece laying on the ground that you missed. There's just, it's all over this hillside here. Very fortunate to have found this. This is not something that you stumble into. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a find. I love the Betroidal action on these things. Oh man, I was thinking about wrapping it up like two hours ago, but I just got so 
freaking focused on all these different crystals and stuff I was finding in this area. There's just so much of it. I can't just walk away from it. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and then we'll get out of here, but I'm not gonna pick up as many as I have been. I've taken on quite a bit. My pack is probably about 50 pounds right now. And I'm walking up and down this stuff. But I'm getting such cool stuff. It's really hard to pass up. Oh, there's a vein. Look at that. You can see the vein right there of Jasper. That's cool. I'm not going to take much more of that stuff. I've taken already a lot of it. Oh, I made it up to that second peak. Check it out. Stunning up here. Alright, so I've wandered a few miles away from the car now. I'm going to start making my way back and then I will head back and uh, get those things cleaned up so we can uh, check them out together. So I'll have to navigate my way through all this terrain here, back over that hilltop, over to there. It's going to take me a little while, but I'll take my time. Well, I appreciate you joining me on my adventure today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel grow. And uh, make sure you watch it all the way to the end, as when we get back here, I'll show you all the pieces we found today.